Good evening. The National Weather Service has confirmed an EF0 tornado hit Christian County yesterday northeast of Ozark. In a preliminary report just released, the Weather Service says the twister brought winds as strong as 80 miles an hour and traveled a mile on the ground for one minute. But that's all the time it needed to uproot trees and damage a building in its path. But a lot of last night's damage wasn't from a tornado. Straight line winds instead. Nicolette Zangara is live in Ozark at News Time to show us more about that tonight. Nicolette. Yeah, Steve, you can see some of the damage behind me left behind from those severe storms that passed through Ozark, blowing out some of the windows at this auto zone. Now, while there was a confirmed tornado in one part of Christian County, this appears to be more straight line wind damage in this area, and I'm going to tell you why. First, it's only a couple of the windows that are blown out. I'm not seeing any other debris scattered about, and the trees and the shrubs nearby look pretty unaffected by that wind coming in. Straight line wind gusts can still be life threatening. The National Weather Service estimates wind gusts got higher than 70 miles an hour, which is why everyone should take severe thunderstorm warnings just as seriously as a tornado warning. Anytime the National Weather Service issues a severe thunderstorm warning, we are anticipating uh, life threatening straight line winds. It's the best thing to do is, is go indoors as if it is a tornado. Stay away from windows, go to, to the central part of your house, let the storm go through, then go outside and figure out what kind of damage occurred. If you're trying to determine if the damage in your area is tornado or wind related, you have to look at where the debris is pointing. So if trees, for instance, are pointed in different directions, that means there could be some rotation from a funnel cloud or a tornado. If they all point in the same direction, it's more likely due to straight line wind gusts. Reporting live in Ozark, Nicolette Zangara, KY3 News.